My name's Tony Biglin. I've been a scientist at Oregon Research Institute for 35 years. Thanks to advances in behavioral science, we have figured out how to prevent most of the critical problems facing us. I began my study of psychology in the 1960s. I was inspired by people like Bobby Kennedy, who challenged young people to make a difference. I come to you today to say that we can build a newer and better nation. I say we can do so, that we must do so, and that we will do so. In the 60s, we had optimism, attitude, and motivation. What was missing was science. But over the past 50 years, we've learned how to ensure that just about every child thrives. First, children need safe and caring environments. We need to keep anger, criticism, and threat to a minimum. The second thing that makes us thrive is positive reinforcement. I'm not talking about M&Ms or money. I'm talking about attention, listening, smiling, touching, hugging, approval, and warmth. All vital ingredients to keep people persevering, innovating, caring for others, learning new things. We thrive on reinforcement. Science shows that even problems that seem intractable can have simple solutions. Consider John Snow. In 1854 in London, England, he proved that cholera was due to contaminated water. When he got the town to remove the Broad Street pump handle, the cholera epidemic ended. A deadly disease that had killed thousands of people over hundreds of years was stopped by a simple solution. So what is our pump handle? Is there a simple solution that could prevent the psychological and behavioral problems that have plagued us for centuries? The answer is nurturance. The school and family programs we've developed over the past 40 years nurture young people's development while preventing the most common and costly psychological and behavioral problems. But research also shows that our families and schools will never become as nurturing as they could be unless we evolve our capitalist system so that it serves the well-being of everyone. We have more people living in poverty than any other developed country and historic levels of economic inequality. These conditions strain families, increase conflict, and directly contribute to poor health and even suicide. Now we're beginning to see a growing number of people who understand that we must have an economic system that works for everyone. We have the knowledge we need to build the better world that Robert Kennedy challenged us to create. I'm really an optimist. I, I think that uh, we have the science to ensure that virtually every young person arrives at adulthood with the skills, interests, health habits, and values they need to live a productive life in caring relationships with other people. 